Hello YouTube, this is Daniel here from Tech Tutorials 101, back here with, an, with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create multiple Windows Server instances using a Amazon AMI, which is an which is a image which can be used to deploy multiple machines. So first off, you want to build your reference image or your reference machine. So I've got this machine here and it's got all of the um, Windows features and settings that I need. So if we open up this machine here, we can see I've got file and storage services installed and also IIS and we're going to want those features to come across in the image and get deployed. So first off, we're going to need to sysprep this image. So what sysprepping will do is get rid of all of the machine specific information and make the image available to be used. So Amazon have a special tool which we can use to sysprep the machine and the file path for that tool, I'll just go to it now and this is on every um, Windows device. There will also be an equivalent in Linux as well. So C, sorry, C backslash program data. And then Amazon EC2 Windows launch. And then we want to come into settings and then we've got EC2 launch settings. And this program here will allow us to um, to sysprep the machine. So yeah, when this comes up, you want to go ahead and click set the computer name and also make sure it's set to a random password or you can specify a password. And what this would do is once on the pond, when the machine next boots up, it will set the administrator password to random so that you can log in. Um, you can also enable this option here um, to run EC2 launch on every boot. So every time the machine boots up or every time a machine built with this image boots up, it will again run the sysprep. Um, so if you need that in a specific scenario, you can use that, but we don't require it for this. So we want to go ahead now and click shut down with sysprep. And then just click yes. It's just saying that it's going to make permanent changes to your instance. And that's going to go ahead and shut the machine down. So it's going to take a few moments for this machine to shut down. So once, once it's shut down, we can then take the image and I'll bring the video back in a sec. So just for your reference, we can see here that the sysprep is now working and it's going through and taking all the actions necessary to sysprep the machine, get rid of any specific machine data and make the, and make the machine ready to be used to take an image. So we can see now that this instance has now been stopped. So it has been shut down and all sysprepping actions have been completed and it's now ready for an image to be taken. So to take an image, you just want to right click the instance and then image, create image. And then we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it YouTube Lab. Just a description. You can add additional volumes if you wish. And also if you're taking an take an image from a live machine, you can click this so that there's no reboot. All right, so that's going to go ahead and create the image and we can view the pending status of this. So it's going to take a few moments to create this image and I'll be back when it's done. All right, so we can see the image is now available and ready to be used and we're going to use this to create another three instances. So to do that, we want to open up PowerShell and go to new EC2 instance. If you don't have this PowerShell module, um, there are plenty of documentation online to be able to install, install this and get it up and running. It's the EC2 um, PowerShell tools or EC2 remote tools, I believe. I will put a link in the description so you can download this and get, and get this running. Um, 
but yeah, we're going to be using the new EC2 instance commandlet. And then the first switch is the image ID, which is the AMI ID here. And then we want to specify the minimum and max count. And this relates to the maximum amount of instances that can be used within your availability zone. So the use case scenario for, for this is if you've got a application which is experiencing a large amount of load and you just want to deploy the maximum amount of instances, then you'll be using these switches. Um, so we're going to be just deploying three. So minimum count and then max count is free and then we want to specify the security group um, you could create a new one but i'm going to be using the the same one as the reference machine which is here and then you want to specify the key that you're going to be using or the key the key name again i'm going to be using the same one as the reference machine And then finally, we just need to specify the instance type. You can deploy on, on larger um, instant types or, or, small, or smaller ones, but you may, you may have some issues with volume sizes, etc. So I'm going to be using the T2 micro. And then we're just going to hit enter. So we can see here that's been completed and the instances are now ready to be built. So if we go back to AWS and select instances, and we can see there's now three instances in a pending state. Um, I've got some terminated instances due to some earlier errors on the video, um, but these, these ones will be, will be fine. So once these machines are up and running, um, I'll get logged in and show you that these settings have all come across. So we can see here the instances are now running and ready to be used. So I'm just going to remote into this one here and show you that everything has just been installed like um, IIS and file and storage services just as the reference machine did. So now we booted into the machine, we can come over to the server manager and we should be able to see that um, IIS has been installed along with um, file and storage services. So we can see here those Windows features are available and that just shows us that the reference image was successful and also the sys prepping actions were also successful. So that is now the end of the video. If you have any further suggestions on AWS topics or Windows system administration or any other system administration topics, please do let me know in the comments. Please like the video and please subscribe.